Hi. Today we need to know and we will learn how to measure and determine the density of unknown liquid that is not measurable with water. Here we will use some sort of oil and we will use the U-shaped tube. First of all, we need to add the higher dense liquid first, which is water, and then we will pour from one of the sides, here we use the right one, we will pour the liquid, the other liquid which is oil. Now, as you can see from the background, these are two levels of uh, oil and water, and we will determine the specific gravity of the oil using the U-shaped manometer or U-shaped tube to by determining the difference of the two heights. As we previously studied, the points at the same horizontal plane have the same pressure. So, these two points in oil and water have the same pressure. But, since the dens density of water is higher than the oil, the height of oil will be much greater than now, we need to determine the distance or the height of the oil. We will use this ruler. Be careful about the level of the separating surface between the two liquids. Okay, this height is about 7.4 centimeters. And we will repeat it again with water on the other side. Be careful for the same level. You have to choose the same horizontal plane, which is the separating surface between oil and water. If we determine this distance, it will be about 6.5 centimeters. Okay. You will repeat this for at least three times to determine the average of both heights of oil and also for water. Now, let's see how to make these calculations and determine the specific gravity, also the specific weight of oil. Now, for the calculations. As you can see, here is a tool that we will use to record our data that we collected from our experiment and as we uh, previously mentioned that we have to do it at least for three times. We will record the height of water, the height of oil in these cells. Let's pretend that these are the data for both heights of oil and water. We will get the average by calculating or submitting the find the submission, the submission of these uh, readings and divide by their numbers and here are three trials so we will divide over three let's use the same uh, values that we determined from our uh, experiment and let's say that the height of water is about 6.5 centimeters for the oil which is greater because it's less dense so it will be 7 We will use the average of both heights to find. As you remember, raw oil equal raw water times height of water over height of oil. We will substitute 1 for the density of water times 6.5 the height of water over 7.4 height of oil. Make your calculations so the the gravity, or uh, sorry, the density of uh, oil will be 0.88 gram per cubic centimeter. Don't forget, this is not an SI unit. So we have to multiply by 1000 to find, to find it in kilogram per cubic meter, which is 880 kilogram per cubic meter. Don't forget the units. Now, we need to calculate the specific weight. Specific weight means the weight divided by 
volume unit, which is mass times gravity or acceleration due to gravity over the volume. As you can notice, mass over volume represents the density. So multiplying density, which is already determined by G, will find or will get us the specific weight. Here in this case, 880 times 9.8 equal 8624. And the unit, since we divide weight over volume, so the unit of weight, which is a force, and it will be measured in Newton, and the unit of volume, which is cubic meter. So the measuring unit for specific weight is Newton per cubic meter. If we were asked to find the pressure at this average height of liquid, we said that the points at the same horizontal level have the same pressure. So to find it, we will multiply density rho times acceleration due to gravity g times h, which represents the height. We will use the same values that we determined from our experiment. As you can see, density times g or rho times g is previously determined and we called it specific weight. So we will replace rho g to become 8624. We will multiply by the height. Here we have to use the SI units. So the height is 7.4 times 10 power negative 2 to convert it from centimeter into meter. Do your calculations. So the final result will be 638.17 and the measuring unit for pressure is Pascal. Don't forget, this is only the pressure of the liquid without concerning the atmospheric pressure. If we will ask it to find the absolute pressure. We have to add the atmospheric pressure, which is represented here as PA or atmospheric pressure. So PA plus PL represents the pressure due to liquid. The summation of these two quantities will give us the absolute pressure. So let's replace PA 1.013 times 10 power 5 and this, these are in Pascal, and we will add our final result, which is 638.70. The final product will be 1.01938 times 10 power 5. And don't forget the unit. Here, pressure is measured in Pascal. I hope you would enjoy it, and have a nice day.